This is a new version of the um, Magna Rosa field set for the Royal Blue, where you need the um, you need the gear, you need the extra gear. Uh, so what I've done, so I have my normal spacing here. If you're just replacing the fields and you don't need the gear, if you're going to keep the gear, you use this piece. But if you don't have the gear, like in the smoke chassis, then you're going to need this extra piece and that extra gear down inside there. That red gear, that red gear drives this other gear and it has the stripes on it that gives us our count. But when I engineered this, I didn't push the notch back far enough, so the gear can't quite get in there and get on that gear. So I'm going to have to deepen that notch another probably a millimeter or more to get the gear in. And then I'll be able to assemble this and test it as a, a royal blue with puff and chuff trigger. Um, so that's kind of where I'm, what I'm doing, plus I'm modifying this puff and chuff holder uh, to hold my the sensor yeah the light infrared light sensor you gotta create that part meanwhile I'm printing a uh, track holder plate and I'm working on some templates for uh, creating assembly stations and I had this idea where I have all these engines I have to build I gotta keep them straight and I like the rolling road, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the rolling road, a space for rolling road, uh, and a space for a tender, and then a space for my breadboard pieces. And that way I can bring all of these components in and assemble them. And then up here I'm going to have a tray. Uh, this will be for the linkages, and this could be for screws. And, and so I'm going to make one out of plastic first and test this idea of a... Of a uh, an assembly fixture I guess you could say out of lack of other word and then if it works and I like it I've got it to where I can actually print it print it like this one and put in the dividers printed dividers and that way everything just sits in a like a cubby and it, it can move but it won't fall and I can put little parts up here that won't get lost and then I can do my jumpers and hook up all my electronics and test out everything and then I can assemble it you know if I go like this is the Atlantic one this is the royal blue one so if I have a part like the power the power mo module I don't know if it's right or not yeah no no I think it goes like this yeah I think that's right okay so the power module goes like that and then the other stuff goes in here and then I can hook it up put power into it these are the sensors put those to the outputs whatever I need to do I can assemble it test it assemble it some more test it so that when I'm done it's all in this kit and um, nothing gets lost and I can put tags on it like whose engine is it and stuff like that I think it's gonna be really helpful for me because I've got as you can see here I have three engines four five six seven I have seven engines that are active and a couple more down there and then four more, three more anyway with wheels there plus projects. Um, I got Steve Hillis's project, I got my own project and I have uh, another fellow who has a royal blue O gauge project. So, um, and, and this one's broken, right? Needs repair. So, I've got a lot of engine projects. Oh, and here's the other. <laughs> yeah, this is the coolest thing. This is a um, this is a bullet train, right? Royal blue, like. But look at the wheels. It's an O gauge, but it's the exact same motor. And, chat and shell. So it's pretty amazing. Gilbert was doing all that. Okay, gotta run. Gotta watch this, gotta get this, gotta get this, gotta get this. Okay, that's it. I don't know what, it's just showing you, I don't know. And then here's how you do the tender. I gotta build the plates and, uh, and print, print a tender, fit that on there and do all that. And that's how that gets done. 
We got stuff going on, man. We're busy. Look, look at that engine. Three volts at 1 a.m. Oh, I don't know if I should say it. If you can see in front of that gear, there's a silver bushing, a silver thrust washer. In front of the silver thrust washer, there's a, another piece of silver, and that is a ball bearing. Yeah, baby. We have ball bearings in the motors. That's how you can get three volts in one amp. And it rips. That'll pull the, that'll pull the load. Alright, gang, later.